Hi everyone, welcome to part two in our Faith Alone series, our daily faith lift videos. And today's one is called Untouchable. We've been looking at a series in Nehemiah, which I've been preaching through on Sundays. You can go onto our Facebook page if you want to, if you didn't catch up on the Sunday. But Nehemiah is faced with massive odds uh, and a huge task. And when I look at his story, it reminds me of that one line, uncertain times are made certain in faith. His faith is unwavering. It gets him through everything that he's going through. And so this week I'm sharing verses based on faith, just how you can have faith even in the circumstances that you're facing, that the uncertain times you're in can be made certain by your faith. So John 16, 33, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. You know, when I, when I read this, Jesus' words to his disciples in John 16, the, there's a bit of a, a, a downer in, in that line, you know, that trouble will come. And I often remind people, I remind Christians that trouble will come. Following Christ doesn't mean everything will be smooth sailing. But I love in this verse the encouragement that Jesus gives as he talks to his disciples because there's times in our lives where it just feels like we've had enough. Enough of everything around us. And so Jesus says this to his disciples that trouble will come. But he reminds them that the circumstances do not have the final say. The things that are happening around you do not have the final say. Just when you think you're done. You know, the circumstances, the person, or it's a season. Remember that Jesus says it's not the end. It's not the final say. Those finite moments have no sway in eternity. There's a quote which I was preparing for a, for a funeral. And there's a quote which I read which really grabbed me and I loved it. It's, it's just a bit of a paraphrase in my own words. Uh, it says something like this. It said, in this life we are immortal until the day God ordained for us to die. Only then are we mortal. For the briefest of times. I'll say it again. In this life we are immortal until the day God ordained for us to die happens. Only then are we mortal for the briefest of times. So take heart. Jesus has overcome the world as he said to his disciples. He has the final say. And so cling to him no matter what you face. No matter what you're going through. Cling to him. He is the one. That brings the final, last words to any circumstance or any moment. You're immortal until he calls you. Then you're mortal. Lord, I just thank you for the promise that we can take heart. I kind of get that feeling that you're urging your disciples when you said those words. You know, in this world, you can have peace in me. Trouble will come, but, but take heart. Take heart in your circumstance. Take heart in the moments. Take heart when you think there is no more to give, no more to go on. You say take heart. Cling to you. Hold to you. You have the final say. You've overcome the world. The world does not dictate our lives. You do. And so Lord, thank you for that. Thank you for that promise today. That no matter what we face... You have the final say. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful Tuesday.